Head on. Eh? Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Echo Fox, and uh, I know it's been a while since you've heard my voice, or I've done any video for that matter. Uh, I've been pretty busy with school and work and everything else, but uh, I wanted to take a look at this game, because this game in particular is um, a game that I appreciate quite a lot. Um, we'll start off with the aesthetic. If you can't already tell, the graphics are all hand-drawn, which looks really nice, I think. Um, has you know it's, its own little original aesthetic it's not 8-bit or anything like that it's all hand-drawn and um, it's very artistic I like it um, the combat's pretty cool um, there's not too many you know, a lot of platformers are based on you know timing crazy jumps and stuff like this this one seems more combat based which I, I quite enjoy so the goal of this game is to reach the top of the tower to get a princess. Pretty cliche, but as far as the game mechanics go, it bends a lot of things that I like. It, it sort of reminds me of like, um, I guess it sort of reminds me of Metroid or Castlevania, but a little more, um, I can't, I can't quite articulate the, how, how to put it. <laughs> But Castlevania, I can definitely see um, influences of Castlevania and Metroid in there. But um, just general, it's an overall, it's a very well polished platformer. I really like, like I said, I really like the aesthetic. I don't see this very often. There's, I mean, every once in a while, there's a, you know a hand drawn sort of thing. Um, well, they did it with Bastion, and that looked pretty good as well. So I, I quite enjoy it. You know, it wasn't they didn't try to go with the retro theme and try to go 8-bit and, and that sort of thing, which I see quite a bit in indie games. And sometimes I just get sick of it. So this is sort of a breath of, a breath of fresh air, and um, it looks really good. Uh, it, it definitely have a lot of challenge as well because. I'm not really quite sure how many levels there are. I haven't been able to beat it yet. Um, but you just keep trying until you get to the top of the castle. And uh, From what I've seen, there's quite a lot of uh, diversity between the levels. And of course, uh, from what I've seen, the further you um, progress up inside the castle, if that makes sense, um, the more difficult um, the, the levels become. So you have this level of progress progression that which I quite like as well you know you know at first it gets it's it's somewhat easy so you can get used to the game mechanics and different enemies but um, any good game should progressively get harder and harder as you go along I think a lot of games these days are far too easy and it's just easy to button mash or whatnot and um, hopefully that's that's what we'll see here the platforming will get a little more difficult, the enemies will get a little more difficult. But anyway, um, I'm not exactly the intellectual type, so I don't think I have too much more to add to this, other than that this is one of the few games that I've been playing when I've had the time, and I actually quite like it. You know, it's got a, it's got a very unique charm because of the hand-drawn um, graphics, and, uh, and even the little cutscenes there, those are hand-drawn as well, which are really cool. And um, the controls are fine, they work well. Um, overall, it's just a well polished game, and I think you should take a look at it. Um, it's part of a sale at indievania.com, I believe. Or maybe, let me check something here, I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Indievania, yeah, indievania.com. I'll leave a link in the description, as I always do. But, anyways, it's part of a sale. Um, I think you can get this game for $1, which is. Which is ridiculous because I think it's probably worth at least five or ten dollars. But um, which is a, a great deal though because there's there's tons of games. Um, it's sort of like Indie Bundle, the Humble Bundle, excuse me. And um, yeah, so go to Indivania.com and there's tons more uh, really good indie games there for very low prices. 
And you can also um, help contribute to the people that maintain the website because without them there would be no um, you know nice little cells like this. And um, yeah, go check this game out. It's pretty fun. I like it. Um, I don't really have too much more to say. I'll just let you watch the rest of this video. Could you give you an idea of how much um, how much I suck at platformers? Really, I, I enjoy platformers. I just I'm not very good at most of them, but this one this one's not too bad. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to comment and subscribe. Later.